London-based artist Philomene Perky has just been shortlisted for the Max Mara Art Prize for Women. In addition to this, her current show, Image Persistence, is the inaugural exhibition at Supplement Gallery's new space at 96 Teesdale Street in Bethnal Green. I work across, I suppose, drawing, painting, photography. Um, sometimes they're presented as photographs, sometimes digital. Um, projections, uh, slide projections, and quite often the works will tumble one into another in terms of subject matter and referencing previous iterations of the work and forming work in series. But more kind of overarchingly, um, a lot of the work is addressing ideas around um, forms of representation of quite um, slippery things such as. Um, time and um, perception, memory. Um, so even though the work might look quite disparate aesthetically, formally there are those kind of overarching connections between them. I've been photographing these images on my computer screen and that the term image persistence also uh, references that, that kind of... Um, optical um, carrying forward of an image um, on a screen but also in your in your eye um, but equally referencing these paintings as a new form as images rather than uh, material things there are other photographs in the show um, which are part of a reflecting series and they begin as um, a single photograph which is re-photographed in the studio and this becomes a kind of working copy which goes to an exhibition and is re-photographed during the exhibition to generate a new iteration of the same work. That comes back to my studio and on the occasion of an exhibition would then be re-photographed and sent out as the new exhibition copy. So during the exhibition I'll re-photograph them here and this will become um, a new iteration of the work with I suppose some attendant reflections from this particular um, environment. Uh, it might be a reflected work in the background or someone photographing it and so even though it's quite a systematic approach they're fairly unpredictable in terms of what arrives as an image as a result of that. Um, the wall work is a white wall painting, white wall work which is both painted and a series of posters and it's, it is a discrete work, it's a work that sits on its own but it's also a background to other work and you know it's a, a kind of deliberate um, and willful exaggeration of the colour white as interpreted through an initial couple of photographs taken in my studio of the white wall um, which is then printed out as a small uh, colour printout and those are taken to um, a DIY shop and scanned and then a custom made emulsion paint is produced based on that scan and what you see in the images of the poster are the original swatch, colour swatch back on the the studio wall with a tester pot of the paint which is then painted back on the top here so it's um, quite an exaggerated play on I suppose this difficulty in part of how something seemingly neutral um, the colour white is actually um, quite a difficult thing to record in such a way um, and it goes through this series of different visual translations. Um, this um, work is an image persistence work, a new um, part of a new group of works which use documentation of paintings that I don't have anymore. And so the work exists elsewhere as a physical thing, but my primary form of access to it now is through uh, my digital archive of images and obviously having worked with this series of reflecting photographs over some time now 
um, it seemed like an interesting proposition to consider how this documentation of paintings, which are something quite different, could be repurposed in a new material form. And so what I've been doing is working with um, photographing the images directly from a computer screen and incorporating some of the attendant distortions and uh, reflections of light that, that happen as a consequence of that. And over the top I've incorporated or there, there are layered images of things which are quite protean in some way through their, in this case, an iridescent bubble that is on some threshold of, um, well, being on the verge of popping, I suppose, you know, they're around for very little time, or ice or water droplets that, um, water having no inherent contained form. And as a juxtaposition to, um, or, or forming a relationship with this, image of a work which is in the process of changing into a new work um, and it also creates this further kind of interference visually between me my proximity to the painting um, and hints at the fact of this being something that is in a kind of changing state without actually materially changing here.